Hey guys, it's Heath with Pork Barrel Barbecue here in Las Vegas, Nevada. You know, you run into all kinds of strange things here. Like, what is that over there? Is that like an angel? Barbecue fairy. A barbecue fairy. Check out the barbecue fairy. Man. Speaking of barbecue and fairy, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is our buddy. The man, one of the greatest guys you will ever meet, and definitely one of the greatest guys in barbecue, Mr. Rod Gray of Pellet Envy. What's up, buddy? How are you, man? I'm good. Good to see you out here in a little different part of the country. It is. It's the furthest west we've ever cooked. You're kind of far from home, aren't you? It's a little far from home. Uh, I tell you, the weather is much nicer than our first cook last year when we saw you in Jefferson City, Missouri. Oh my God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Although I'm assuming you weren't able to do a slag mite this year like you did that <laughs> year with no, your no, grease. My, the grease. The grease is uh, it's not solidified, no. no and too speaking warm. of grease, what a segue. Into Grease Light. Grease Light has got sponsor. a new product. Yep, they got a couple products coming out. They've changed their, their multi purpose to have a little fresher scent, be a little more household friendly, and then they've got a super strength, which is great for guys like us. Yeah. Cleaning up all the barbecue messes around, cleaning our grills and the stains off our shirts, all that stuff, absolutely. Just Good like, stuff. and we're here at the ACM Awards, just like Tim McGraw said, right? Barbecue stain on his white t shirt. That's right, but if he, if he had Grease Light, there never would have been that's, that song. That, no that's song. true. That is true. <laughs> So, what's going on with Pellet Envy in 2012? You guys, I know I have a full slate of cooks ahead. We're hitting it hard. We're going to teach four or five classes around the country. Just scheduled a brand new class outside of Atlanta, Georgia for the first weekend of June. We've got one in Kansas City the, the, the end of August, and we're going to do one or two more on top of that. And other than that, we're going to just cook our butts off this year. And how's the year going so far? How you feeling? You, you uh, in sync yet? You still shaking off some of the winter rust? Yeah, we're off to a little bit of a slow start. Uh, working a few few bugs out. Uh, we'll get there soon enough. I feel like we had a pretty good cook. Maybe the barbecue fairy will stop by and it'll work out well. <laughs> well, she was over sprinkling dust around us. Ah. So yeah. I don't know what that means. On your food? On our food. Would that be like, uh, wouldn't that be too DQ'd for foreign objects? Or? She's the barbecue fairy. There's an exemption. Rule 36.2891. Good point. And yes. you'd be the one to know that right down to the point one. I would. Well, uh, any other thing you want to talk about? You're a big supporter of BBQBackyard.com. You know, it's the summer. We've got uh, a lot of new members in the last month. We're, we're up to around 4,000, 4,200 members. That is so awesome. Let's not forget we are both newly sponsored by Research Fine Foods. This is true. Thank Fact you, Research. Sponsored. Yep. Uh, the cool thing about Research for us, is, uh, at least my first real experience with Research, was when we went out to Fort Riley, Kansas, and Research donated a bunch of sides for us when we cooked for the troops out there, uh, which was really one of the best moments of my barbecue career. It was so much fun. That was a blast. And you know, you, you don't know this because you've done it once, but we've done that three times. And Research stepped up without question every single time. So when they came calling, honestly, it was a no-brainer. Because if, if they're going to treat the troops that way and stand behind uh, our, our forces that way, I'm all in. All in. Completely agree. Great, great stuff. You know, if you are looking for potato salads, coleslaws, beans, uh, beans dips, uh, they got it all. And they're all over the country. Just check out, check into your local grocery store, and they're bound to have it. Well, good luck this afternoon, buddy. Right, you we'll too. see you along the trail this year. And uh, we look forward to, uh, to hearing your name called many times in 2000. Well, well, good luck to Port Pearl today, and uh, we're going to see you all over the country, I'm sure. Sounds good. And come visit us at the restaurant. Yeah, I yeah. Need to we put got, you to I work. Gotta come to the restaurant. I need, a, I need a pit master the day you're there. Can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> all right, guys, we're going to go do what you do in Vegas. Uh, you know, I don't know. Gamble and gamble, drink. Gamble and drink. Right here from the horse's mouth and this horse's mouth, too. We're going to go talk to the barbecue fairy and make sure she got the dust in that. 0.036 code there, so we weren't disqualified. But we'll see you guys later here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Pork Barrel Barbecue, check it out.